Real Fan Opinions brought to you by Wash and Go. How are we doing guys? Welcome to UFF Daily. So the Premier League is well and truly underway. We'll get into today's games in a moment. But of course, yesterday, six games. A lot of drama in that as well. There's some good games in there. First up was Newcastle against Spurs. Spurs worked away with the three points with a 2-1 win. But Newcastle could feel a little aggrieved by that because they played really well. Um, hit the woodwork a couple of times in the second half. And like I said, they should have come away with something. And they'll feel a little bit hard done by with that one but Spurs they get the three points and um, yeah they go into their next game I believe that's at Wembley don't know where they're playing at the moment who cares anyway um, but yeah next up we had Cardiff um, getting off to life in the Premier League and they lose 2-0 to Bournemouth not a great performance from them not the greatest of performances from um, Bournemouth but you know what they went and got the job done and that's what really matters in this league so um Everton, good performance that, considering they were down to 10 men for oh, a large part of the you know, the game, probably about 50, 60 minutes of that game. Richarlison, £50 million pound man, pops up with a couple of goals. One really good goal when he bent it around a defender and into the bottom corner. Um, but Wolves, yeah, they'll feel like that's maybe an opportunity missed, the fact that Everton were down to 10 men. But they got their first points in the Premier League. Fulham. I think they realise now that life is not as easy as you think in the Premier League. So they got off to a 2-0 defeat to Crystal Palace. Um, Wilfred Sahar pops up with a goal and he's got to have a big season. A lot of people saying how inconsistent he is. So yeah, it's a big opportunity for him. And we will wait and see how he gets on throughout the course of the season. Uh, Chelsea, very comfortable 3-0 win in the end at Huddersfield yesterday. And um, they look decent, but Huddersfield had them in my tip to be relegated and if they carry on playing like that then they're gonna struggle this year big time so I thought they would have done better and put a better fight up but yeah they weren't that good yesterday so Chelsea run out 3-0 winners today of course all I care about is one game and it's Arsenal the Unai Emery era is beginning I can't wait I'm absolutely buzzing I feel like a kid on Christmas morning I know we got the toughest test going we're playing the champions we're playing the favorites to win the Premier League but listen you can't play them twice throughout the season anyway so why not play them now let's just get it over and done with and um we will wait and see what happens um few changes you know that I've noticed within the club yesterday the players were training on the pitch at around about the same time that they kick off today. So I don't know whether this is something that Emery wants to do. Get them a feel of the, you know, the stadium and the pitch and their surroundings and whatnot. But it's definitely different compared to what Arsene Wenger does. And um, yeah, the groundsmen will probably be having nightmares watching them run around and having to get the pitch ready for today. But yeah, it is what it is. That's Unai Emery's um, Arsenal now. So he, he calls the shots and that's what he obviously wants to do. So... Yeah, I'm looking for a good game. I'm looking for a good performance. I just want to see us go out there and give a good account of ourselves. But we will wait and see, no doubt. So there we go for today's UFF Daily. I will be back tomorrow. We'll see what kind of mood I'm in. I'll see you lot then. I'm out of here.